A family left reeling after a woman was killed outside of her job in North Mississippi. Police say Ebony Crockett was killed by Corey Brewer, who family called an ex-boyfriend. The Tennessee Bureau of Investigation says Brewer, who was on the run after her death, was later killed by officers in a shootout in Tennessee. The Bureau AG Shea author is live this afternoon after speaking with gun violence experts about the measures put in place to help those trying to get out of abusive relationships. Shea. Hey, April, yeah, this really is such a tragic case, and policy experts we talk to say implementation of measures is key. Family called 44-year-old Ebony Crockett a loving light. I felt like something like this could happen, but I didn't think it would. Her shine now gone after she was shot and killed Friday outside a Mississippi Amazon warehouse. Police say at the hands of her ex, Corey Brewer. Court records obtained by WREG showed she had a no contact order against him, served just a day before her death. Brewer was ordered not to possess any weapons for the duration of the order and to stay away from Crockett's home in Arkansas as well as her job. So obviously very concerning. Julia Weber is with Giffords Law Center to prevent gun violence, part of the Giffords organization founded by former congresswoman and gun violence survivor Gabby Giffords. It's extremely concerning when this happens, especially when we see a situation where a victim of domestic violence sought and was granted a no contact order. Following recent shootings across the country, there has been renewed discussion about red flag law. According to Everytown Research and Policy, 19 states have extreme risk protection orders or red flag policies. Tennessee, Mississippi and Arkansas are not included. Those policies authorize family or law enforcement to petition the court to restrict a person's access to firearms if the court finds them to be a danger to themselves or others. Red flag laws only focus on gun and ammunition prohibitions. The, what is key for both those domestic violence prohibitions and so-called red flag laws is implementation. So when someone becomes prohibited, no matter what order that's under or what door they walk through, we have to make sure if they have firearms, they relinquish them. And Alex April, some opponents of those red flag laws believe they violate Second Amendment rights. We're live downtown tonight. Shay Arthur, WREG, News Channel 3.